gowns and the jewels and the food and the music. Thank you, Patrika. I'll take my father up a cup of tea. And ice sculpture. Who could imagine horse and carriage? I swan, eh, but horse, eh? Ah, please, also coaster. Of course, it was beautiful. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. And, and gifts enough to fill the gymnasium. <sighs> More candlesticks from her uncle. Bijan. Roya! Asha! He's not breathing! Hurry, come up here, come on! Name's Manoush Soleimani. Big cheese in the caviar racket. Soleimani, sounds Italian. Caviar is probably Iranian. Persian. No, whatever, he must have sold a lot of it. All those flowers, looks like somebody was expecting a funeral. They're from a wedding last night. We got a time of death. Guy was so fresh, I half expected him to get up and have breakfast. No rigor, body temp same as you and me. He's dead, tops an hour. There's no muss in there. What makes you think it's not natural causes? Can't say. Started my exam. The lady of the house threw a fit, told me to stop. That's when I sent for you. She wants me to release the body to the funeral home. Is the DOA the father of the bride? The DOA was the groom. Young bride, old groom, wedding night. Maybe he died of a heart attack. Like my mother used to say, play with kids your own age. If the wife doesn't want us here, why are we here? The son does. He's sure there's been foul play. Wants an autopsy. I forbid it. Who are you to forbid? Who are you? To forbid. Family feud, my favorite. My husband was a private man in life. I will not oh. let you disrespect him in death. Disrespect? There will be no autopsy. For someone who parades around like a Paris Hilton? Your father was a widower for many years with many companions. I was the one he chose to take to the altar. I made him happy. You exploited him. Ben and Yasmin, stop arguing. Please. I do not have to answer to you. You will have to answer about my father's death, not just to all me. All right, everybody calm down, all right? Look, we're going to need to talk to all of you. Yeah, in neutral corners. It wasn't a heart attack. My father just had a perfect checkup, pre-honeymoon. They were about to go on a Mediterranean cruise. Who called 911? I did. I took him a cup of tea. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't breathing. I called for help. Who else was in the house? Uh, Roya and Asher were in the dining room with Patrika. And Roya is? My sister, Asher, is her husband. My brother-in-law, Patrika, is the housekeeper. She'd been with us for ever. So? Where was his new wife? Not by his side. I went to look for her. She was nowhere in the house. The ambulance was here by the time she strolled in. You said that she'd have to answer for your father's death? Detective, she's 25. My father was 68. And a very, very wealthy man. Ben knows better. A traditional Jewish funeral has to take place within 24 hours. Mrs. Soleimani, don't you want to know what happened to your husband? I know what happened. He died peacefully in his sleep. No one killed him. We don't need an autopsy. We can ask the ME to rush his exam and try to make that 24-hour deadline. Manny was a religious man. Our traditions meant everything to him. He would not have wanted to be handled, touched by outsiders, secular people. You called for the ambulance. The EMS handled him. I did not call 911. I was not even here when they found him. Well, where were you? I went riding. What does it look like? A lot of women in this zip code run errands in those. I don't do errands. But you do go horseback riding the morning after you tie the knot. I did not know how much riding I would get to do on my honeymoon. What, you don't believe me? Mrs. Soleimani, your husband was found dead in his own bed the morning after he got married. To a much younger woman is what you're thinking. I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't. Here's your murder weapon. Pillow contains goose down and DNA from the victim, saliva. So he was a drooler? Well, apparently, only when being smothered. It's the only pillow in the house with traces of his saliva. You found that in his bedroom? His daughter's. Any trace evidence? Got a hair. It's a woman's, dyed with a gray root. If it's got a root, we can get DNA, see if it matches the one we found on the body. You know what, I'm gonna call the loose, see if she wants to handle this herself. <laughs> I met with them in person several times. Once at their house to do the home study. Between the phone and emails, we were in touch every week. And they went through the entire process. Start to finish. And the paperwork is daunting. You try dealing with the city of New York, the state of New York, the federal government, Homeland Security, and the People's Republic of China. You've really got to want it. And then what? I'm just a social worker, not a shrink. I called to say they'd been matched with a baby. I sent them a picture. 
an adorable little girl. You always carry your files with you? Just the active cases so I can return calls after my boys go to bed. Parents waiting for a child call 24-7. Oh, wow. <laughs> I couldn't resist this face, and I'm not even looking for another kid. They could. After looking at that picture for weeks, one day Roya calls and says, I'm sorry. And her explanation? She was vague. It didn't add up. Especially since they already had a travel day to get the baby. I saw Roya several times a week. Then you knew she wanted to adopt. Sure. What happened? Why didn't she go through with it? Out of respect for her father. Respect? How so? Manny emigrated here four decades ago, yet carried values from the past. He did not approve of adoption. That's old-fashioned, to put it mildly. It's hard for you to understand because these are not your ways. If Roya disobeyed her father, she would have been ostracized. By the family? By the entire community. How is Asher with the adoption? Roya is first-generation American, born here. Asher was born in Iran. He would never disrespect Manny's wishes. Probably on some level, he even agreed with him about the adoption. When was the last time you saw Roya? Saturday at services, then that night at the wedding. Was she still upset about giving up the baby? And how her relationship with her father would change. She didn't want a new stepmother? One who was even younger than she? Would you? She didn't want to relinquish her place with her father, and she certainly didn't want to leave the home. She was moving out of the townhouse? At her father's request. I tried to persuade her to see it as a positive change for herself and Asher. But she didn't. She was devastated. She didn't support her brother's request for an autopsy. She's the only one with a script for the tranquilizer. The murder weapon, the pillow he was smothered with, was found in her bed. And her hair was found on his body. Suggestive, but not definitive. She'd just given up a child she wanted desperately, only to have her father marry a younger woman and kick her out of the house that she'd lived in all of her life after she took care of it and him since her mother's death. Jack, everything points to her. Why do you want her out of the house now? To be alone with his new young wife. Her rabbi said as much. Have the cops pick her up. Then work on getting a subpoena for the rabbi to testify as a hostile witness. Is this the child? Yes. Who you were planning to name after your mother, Dora? Yes. Were you angry at your father when he forced you to choose between being a mother to this child and a daughter to him? I gave up the baby willingly. I wanted to keep my father happy. You had tickets for China? Chose a name for the baby? Chose a pediatrician? Ordered baby furniture? And then gave all that up to make him happy? It was my choice to abide by his wishes. Isn't it a fact that your father was evicting you and your husband from the family home? Don't you say that he was evicting me. But it is the truth, not some fiction, like you and Yasmin being friends. He cared more about her wishes than he did about yours. Didn't he want you out of his house before he returned from his honeymoon? I did everything my father asked of me, yes. I wanted a baby, but he said that I should be content to be an aunt. He said that he was planning on having more children with Yasmin. That was the reason he wanted me to leave the house, a home that I had made for him since I was a young woman.